When everything has been said and done, the question remains unanswered. And that question is, who is going to be Umkhon Towe Sizwe president? Right. Uh, that, is the, that is the question that I have asked, or that's a question that I sought to answer previously. But clearly, there has been some new development. That is why I came back here trying to answer the question uh, as to who is going to be Umkhon Towe Sizwe. Now, what complicates the questions, though, or the question, though I am not fully vested as far as the Constitution is concerned, but I can guarantee you what complicates the question is the fact that President Jacob Zuma has served as a president of this of the Republic of South Africa uh, almost uh, almost a full decade, just few months to complete that decade. Then he resigned, or he was forced into resignation by the African National Congress. Having been forced, then I am not sure what the Constitution said, but the person that was said to be the president president of Umkonto Wesizwe was actually going to be U Mukhwang Mukhwang, right? The reason I am coming back to you today to talk about the president of Umkonto Wesizwe, it is simply because there has been some revelations or secrets that have been came out and with uh, a little bit more detailed as to who can be and who cannot be Umkonto Wesizwe and what some of the members of Umkonto Wesizwe are pushing for. Uh, yeah, you will be shocked. You will be shocked. Um, Look, oh, oh, look, oh, mokhwang, mokhwang. At first, um, there were news suggesting, and in fact, the now sources has confirmed that yes, indeed, oh, mokhwang, mokhwang was going to be the president of Umkonto Wesizwe. But in the look, but listen carefully, there's been some twists and turns there and there. So, what I'm going to do in this article, I'm going to give you all of that information as many as you want it provided indeed that you will stick around until the end of this video to those who good servants who will stick around until the end of the video this is what i'm going to do i'm going to give you this information but i'm going to i'm going to have to ask you one thing which or oh, few things that are very free of charge right and those things are guys i'm interested to see if it's not possible to get to 50,000 subscribers before the end of or oh, before the end of the of january right so so the only way for us to see if that is going to happen is you if you are not if you know yourself that you are not subscribed then you need to subscribe now like the video now comment in the comment section below now click the notification bell uh, watch the video until the end watch the ads that's how you financially contribute to this youtube channel and um, also guys you need to share this video let's get more people involved and in getting more people watching this content guys we've been doing well um you guys have been watching the ads i can see the changes there let's just continue doing that as well uh, you guys have been subscribing i can see guys we are uh, we are getting at least a minimum of 1000 subscribers a day which is absolutely good and thank you very much for that let's just keep on uh, the work guys let's keep on doing that this great work right now i must say that there was an article that was released by iol and the article was released by uh william Pungula, published on the 8th of january 2024 the the heading of the article says push for zuma to stand as president of umkonto wesiz umkonto wesiz mk party members were said to be pushing for former president jacob zuma to 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 go into his presidential benefit and became the party's presidential candidate um look, that is what people are saying now let me get into the details which you are here for it is said with look it is said that the Devon with the former chief justice Mokwang Mokwang apparently out of the picture um says or MK party members were said to be pushing former president Jacob Zuma to forgo his presidential benefit and became the party's pre local uh, presidential candidate that is what people have said now I know you want to know uh, the, the question that you need to be answered or you need it to be answered is uh, what happened to Mokwang uh, Mokwang right former chief justice Oh, guys, there's been some twists and turns. Well, yeah, yeah. But let me get, let me, let, 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 let's give credit to IOL. Let me read their article for you. They say, 
The party had apparently banged on the former, pres former chief justice to be the face of the election campaign. But the Judicial Service Commission closed, uh, the Judicial Commission closed that forbids judges to do uh, look, to do re re remarkable work even after retired appear to have uh, hampered Justice, Mo Justice Mokwang's chances of participating in politics. Now, let me repeat this. There's something that is a bit of a problematic here that I don't understand. Right? I need a bit of clarity here because I honestly don't understand what is being said here. Nevertheless, let's go back to the, to the first paragraph. The first paragraph creates more problems than it provides solutions. It says, the party had apparently banked on the former chief justice to be the face of the election campaign. But the Judicial Service Commission clause that forbids judges to do uh, a remunerative work even after retired appeared to have hampered Justice, uh, Justice Mohuang's chances of participating in politics. Didn't you see, uh, I don't know what the name of that political party that was going to be, uh, that belongs to U Judge Mo, U Lok, U, U Lok, former Justice Mohuang Mohuang. So it just doesn't make a lot of, bit of sense to me. That means that political party that he had formed previously, if it is true, it may, um, it, it, from what I saw, he had a political party, that must have been false then, right? That, is, that must have been false. So there's something that I don't understand, right? But we'll talk about some of the things in the Look, let me, let me, let me, let's go through the article as well. The article then continues to say, according to legal expert advocate Mpomelo Lozigalala, Justice Mokweng will lose his salary and, and benefits, including the title of judge, if he look, if he accepted a parliamentary seat, Zigalala said he was he was regarded as still employed, even though he was look, even though he has retired since he was still getting a full salary and equal to that of current Justice uh, Raymond Zondo. Okay, then they continued. Judges are regarded as still employed by the state, so if Mukweng or wants to go to parliament, he must write a letter a letter of resignation to the Minister of Justice. He, he will then lose his full salary and benefit, including being called a judge. So I guess that could, that could be the reason why he had apparently turned down offers from parties to lead their political they are but to lead their parties so in other words um you will not see uh, being the leader of um now we all see in terms of campaign we all know who's campaigning for that who's the face of um right now uh it is none other than Jay-Z, right and um you know I'll, I'll tell you the truth uh i did not register to vote all the political parties previously had not necessarily convinced me to vote. But as soon as Umkonte Wesizwa came into the picture, um, now there's going to be the final registration of voting, which will happen on the 3rd and the 4th of February. And now I'm now considering voting again, and I'm thinking to myself, hey, <laughs> I'm thinking of considering now go register. I, I don't know, like, guys, I am thinking of registering for voting. Uh, it's a fact, it's a fact, guys, it's a fact. Hey, now things have changed, eh? I don't know. Please convince me which one am I. Look, should I even go and do the final registration to look, register to vote? Uh, but I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. Hi, now I'm considering. I'm like, mm -mm. I'm considering now. I'm considering. I don't want to lie. But let's continue. It is understood that Justice uh, Justice Mokweng was the fir was first approached by all African Alliance Movement um, AAAM uh, party to be its uh, local local presidential candidate, then the MK party. An active member of the MK party who spoke on condition of anonymity said the former chief justice refusal to forgo his, his benefit as a judge prompted the AAM to merge with MK, uh, MK, which was announced by the party in a joint media briefing uh, with former president on Friday, right? Um... <laughs> I... Yeah, nah. okay. At the briefing, 
AAM Secretary General Bishop Mishak Tebe reportedly said their decision to endorse the MK party was because they wanted the MK to get to, to get a two-third majority. AAM then called on all its members to vote for MK in the upcoming general election. An MK member who spoke to Daily News said Zuma now had no choice but to forego uh, to forego his presidential benefit for the sake of people who had been yearning for his leadership. The low list said that he was not uh, he, look, he said she was not seeing any problem with financial. If Zuma were to accept look were to accept to go back to parliament because look if Zuma were to accept to go to parliament um da, 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 da. Okay, they said that with more than 5 million MK party members, they will be able to pay him salary uh, as their former president and other benefits. So, in other words, they are saying it is not fine. Money will no longer be a problem. By the way, MK, as of now, they are yet to make another announcement, but they have made an announcement to say they are sitting on... The last announcement was that they are sitting on 6.7 million members. Yar! Zuma will lose nothing by sacrificing his presidential packs with 10 mil local 10 membership contribution a monthly. We can sustain him financially given our fast growing membership. In fact, that decision will that decision will make him a hero because it will mean he was prepared to sacrifice material benefit for a well-being of poor people. So we need him back at the union buildings. We we do not have a, like a credible uh, leader like him since it appears that Mukweng was not interested in sacrificing his benefit as a uh, look, as a judge. Now. I've got a problem here. Um, I've got a problem. Questions to ask as to say maybe, maybe. Wait a minute. He's look according to them. He's going back to the union building, right? Buildings, right? Not just because it's not just the building, but it's buildings. Um. Hey guys, how much does it cost to be a member of Mkonto Sizwe? If you were to join, I'm just asking, guys. How much does it cost, right? What are the benefit of becoming a member of Mkonto Sizwe? Uh, those are the those are the questions that I ask. But another question is that if President Ram, look if President Zuma decides that he's not gonna go he's gonna go into uh, look into into Parliament, does it mean that like really he loses everything the like, uh, the protection unit? What what does it mean about all of those things? I'm just interested to know more about that. But like, the article then continues to say, Zigalala says should Zuma accept he will immediately lose all presidential benefits since the former president and salaries and benefit equals to the current president until death. Zuma can avoid losing benefit by declining to make a seat in parliament should this should his party fail to win enough seat for him to return to the union building added. Zigalala said Zuma may not lose the presidential benefit but ha look, um, has already lost political local politically as a former ANC uh, president since ANC members will not be able to sh look to sh uh, to shout viva to him like to all the past uh, local all the past party president local president like Oliver Tambo Zuma campaigning for the MK was not in conflict with his, look with his status as a former head of the state and his benefit will not be affected by his uh, by his endorsing of umkonto wesizwem the article then continues to say the push for Zuma was also prompted by the uh, look, apparent revolt against the Jablan Kumalo, who re look, resigned, the, look, resigned the party. Sources within the party said many were not happy with the leadership style and have started questioning his cred credentials. Another member who spoke on condition of anonymity said they don't know or they don't know of Kumalo in the Umkonto Oasis or military uh, wing, and we are not sure how. Zuma trusted him to work uh, to work with him such an important project as the at the expense of Colonel and then Loko shares who had supported him uh, continuously, especially uh, 
Enrique Elocon Elocalinas, who expected who was expelled by the by the ANC for supporting him. The two non Zuma uh, backers had since joined EFF days before launch of MK Party National Conveyor, uh, National Conveyor, blah blah blah. But that's not where we are, we are not interested in all of that. And now we are looking at the issue of Um Konto We Sizwe, who's going to be the president there on now. Having gone through the article, I'm kind of like left with some quite number of questions that I think that are worth uh, being answered. But I'm definitely sure you are going to agree with me or you're definitely going to agree with me as to say it's a bit complicated. We don't know what Zuma is going to do. And also, um, we are waiting, you know, kind of like, feel, we kind of feel like, Who's going to be the president of Umkonto we see? You know that question. We are very much anxious about that as to say, who's going to be Umkonto we see? Who's going to be the president of Umkonto we see? Who do you think should be the president of Umkonto we see? Now, I'm going to leave that question unanswered, knowing exactly that you're going to do exactly that. You're going to answer all of those unanswered questions in the comment section below. You and I, guys, I'm going to have to do one thing here. I'm going to have to go do some work you know what i'm doing you know what i do i do a bit of research right so i'm gonna have to cut this video i'm not gonna make it this video much longer but before i sign off there are quite a number of things that i ask of you guys and i told you guys that i've got an ambition of getting to 50,000 subscribers and also to get this video to 100,000 views some of my videos guys they are doing very well in terms of getting to 100,000 views um can you please make this one to get 200,000 views? Also, like the video, comment in the comment section below, uh, click the notification bell, uh, subscribe. If you do all these things, guys, you know what it does? It tells the YouTube algorithm to say, listen, you, this person likes this content and it's gonna help you that when the next time I want to post a new content, you'll be the first, oh, not I want, but the next time I post a new content, you'll be the first to be notified. So it helps you to get, uh, to be the first to when when i post a new video so please do that right and tell your friends to tell their friends that there is a channel that is so exciting so entertaining and so informative well so yeah they need to come here subscribe become a member of this youtube channel you know what i'm saying you to join there's a click button down there you, there's a click button there you can join become a member of this youtube channel donate to the channel from as little as you can from as look from as little as 14 rand in fact um to 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 the maximum of your choice. Nevertheless, I want to leave it here. Um, you guys, let me love and leave you. I'll see you guys on the next one. But until that next video, good people, please take care.